Macy Lou here, and I am pleased to announce that this is the first part of the How to Use Mini Bang Paint series. And in this particular part, I'm going to show you all about how to use like the different um, menus and things like that. So first off, let me show you how to choose colors. Um, here's the color wheel over to the left. And I really like how it works. I like the wheel plus the square. I don't know. I just really like how it works. So now I'm just kind of showing you like where the menus are. So here's the brush menu. And um, there's like a brush menu. And then in that same thing, there's a tab in the center called brush settings. So you can mess with the size and the opacity. And you can turn that off on the left side. Um, and there I just picked a color, so just to show you how the color picker works, which is on the left side under the little hand symbol. And then over to the left, I'm showing you how to flip the canvas. So it was just that bottom left button after you click that little menu. Alright, so over to the right are your layers. And I just wanted to show you kind of like how the layer panel works. And I'll show you, I'm taking away that one layer, I'm lowering the opacity just to kind of show you how it works and now I'm lowering the opacity of the girl layer so it's very similar to how Photoshop works so it's super simple um, but in here you can change the blending mode of the layers so I'm changing the blending mode of the butterfly layer and you can see all the different little options and everything all the way down to Saturation, color, and brightness. So back in here, I kind of wanted to show you like different things you could do. Like you could duplicate your layers. Um, I wanted to show you that you could um, just like keep duplicating the layers if you wanted to like over and over. And now I'm showing you how to delete the layers. Click the little trash can button. And um, to duplicate the layers, you just click that little duplicate button. And now I have the move tool, and I'm moving the duplicated layer around so you can see that it is, in fact, its own separate layer. All right, when you click the little arrows, you can move up and down your layers. You can rearrange the order that they're in. So I put the butterflies behind the girl, and you can see you know, they kind of disappeared behind her. And putting it back in front of her. So I'm going to delete the layer just to show you how to do that. Brought it back. Um, and throughout this whole tutorial, I've been using the undo and redo buttons on the bottom left corner of the screen, right under the eyedropper tool. And now I'm just showing you how far you can zoom in. You can zoom in super, super far. I think this file is um, 9 by 12 inches and 300 resolution, by the way, so you can actually make pretty high resolution artwork on here. Um, I wouldn't really go higher than that though, um, than that 300. Alright, so now I'm showing you how to use the lasso tool. I'm selecting around the ice cream. I'm going to actually move the ice cream. So I'm going to get the move tool and move it around. So now you can see how to move things with the lasso and move tools. And you can see it's still in the same layer. So now the question is, how do we put it? Um, like, I want to show you guys like how to size it up larger and how to put it on a separate layer. So first, we've got to select it with the lasso, and then we are going to go into the transform button and we're gonna actually size it up. It's huge now. <laughs> She's got a huge ice cream now. And we're gonna say done and that has sized it up. But what if we want it on its own layer? So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to select it again with the lasso. Do, 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 do. Selecting the ice cream. We just want the ice cream part on its own layer. So I'm going to press the cut button, which is the little scissors at the bottom. And then I'm going to make a new layer. And I'm going to make a color layer. And I'm going to paste it with the little clipboard button at the bottom. 
So it'll paste it in place for you and it's on its own layer now. So that's how you put things on their own layer and how you cut and paste. So that's basically it for this tutorial except for I just want to show you like how to take the minis away so you can click like the little color thing on the left side and you can click the little um, square or rectangle or whatever underneath of it to get rid of those minis on the left side and that way you can like zoom way in on your artwork and you can make it fill up the whole screen. But I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and watch out for part two. Thanks for watching. Bye! So before I go, I just want to shout out my patrons. They're on the screen right now, and I just want to thank them so much for supporting me. They're always so super kind and sweet, and they help me out a lot. Thank you guys so much for being patrons.